Okay, so we know that the pressure gauge here uh, bothers uh, some people uh, when you are pressing uh, the robot, extracting the coffee. Usually we are in this position here uh, to get uh, the leverage from the arms to press down the coffee and it's hard to look uh, to the pressure gauge at the same time as you are pressing up here. So what I did, I designed and 3D printed this part here to move the pressure gauge from here to up here and it will be facing up so you can press down and uh, look uh, the pressure from above. Uh, so this is a simple uh, 3D printed part. I use this to place uh, this bracket here up here uh, in the top of the machine. So I'm gonna show you how to install. Uh, all you need is the 3D printed part and uh, M5 screw a little bit longer than the original one. So this is a M5 screw. Uh, I'll put the length on the description box so you can uh, grab one for yourself. So what we need to do here is to remove the pressure gauge from the arm. So you just uh, unscrew it a little bit and it will gonna be loose. And you need to remove the screw from the top here. You have to decide which side you're gonna put. Uh, you might need to invert the screws here. Uh, I don't remember originally, but I think I uh, switched uh, from back to front. So this is the original screw. It's a tiny one and uh, the one that I put in place uh, because we need to add the height of this part here. So first you're gonna install this part here. Ah, one thing uh, I want to mention, I created this hole here so you can uh, store the original screw here in place, you see later how it looks in the machine, but it's just a choice if you want to hide it, this, this black piece with the screw uh, and also to store it to use uh, later if you want to go back to the original uh, construction. So you're going to screw this here and uh, make sure that the arms are moving freely. And now you need to move uh, the pressure gauge. Uh, it can be uh, turned like this, so you do that to put uh, it in place. And in the bottom here, we have the two, two screws, nylon screws that uh, holds the bracket in place. So this is a little bit more tricky to uh, tie it down. I try to do like this. You don't have much space here to tighten it. But it's still simple to do. And you are only possible to do small turns here. Maybe the other side is better. Okay, I think it's fine. So this is how it looks now with the pressure gauge on top. So when we are pressing here, 
Now we can look from above. Let me show you. This is how it looks like. And I usually uh, have this mirror here where I can place and I can see the extraction and the pressure at the same time. That's it.